Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get Apple's Live Photos feature on Android. Now, just in case you've been fortunate enough to miss Apple's latest ad campaign for their iPhone 6s, I'll give you a basic rundown of what Live Photos is all about. To put it simply, it's a moving picture, like an animated GIF or a video, basically. But the difference is, the camera is always recording video when it's in this mode. So as soon as you hit the shutter button, it snaps a picture like a normal photo, but it attaches the last few seconds of video up until that point. And there are already a few apps that can do this on Android, but the one I've liked the most so far is called Camera MX. It's a free app on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or you can head to the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to get a direct download link. But once you've got the app installed, using this Live Photos feature is pretty simple. One thing to note though is that they don't want to get sued by Apple, so they've changed the name from Live Photos to Live Shot. Basically, you just select the Live Shot mode with this button right here, and then make sure to hold your phone nice and steady because remember, it's recording video before you even hit the shutter button. So to give you a quick demo of what I'm talking about here, I'll move my hand in front of the camera and then hit the shutter button. As you can see, it happens instantly, so basically just snap the shot and that's the end of your scene. But once the live shot is processed, go ahead and hit the gallery button down here to check it out. Now on the iPhone, you got 3D Touch to view the action, where you press a little bit harder and the photo goes live. But Android devices don't have that hardware yet, so it's a simple long press instead. As you can see, everything that happened up until I hit the shutter button is now showing up in a video, and that's the basic premise of live photos on iOS. But if you don't like where the live photo started or ended, just hit this edit button up here and choose edit live shot. This little interface will let you change the end or the beginning of the live shot. And then once you're done there, you just hit save to make your changes permanent. Then when you're ready to share your creation with somebody else, go ahead and tap the share button just like you would in any other app. Then you got a couple of options here. You can share just the still photo that you see right there, or you can share the entire live shot. The file is saved as an mp4, which can easily be uploaded to most image sharing sites. And of course you can use Android share menu to send it over any service. But like I said, there's a couple of other options for getting live photos on Android, and I've got links to those apps over at the full tutorial on Gadgetex, so be sure to check that out. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.